Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mushroom Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can type in something and click on a button and you have it to be shared across your entire app. I'll also show you how you can navigate through this. You can type in any message you want or actually pass in images, videos, anything, and it will be shared between two different views. So this is a view and this is a completely different view, yet the information is being shared live. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start this episode. Welcome back guys. So as you can see here, I have a running project. I have my canvas ready. The first thing we need to do is we need to remove this. We are going to be adding a Z stack. There we go. And we're going to be adding a V stack inside of that. First thing we are going to be doing before we continue is we're going to add a different background. So we're going to say color dot green dot edges, ignoring all areas. And as you can see now we have our view as green. And this is just so that we distinguish between our first and second view. For inside of the V stack here, we're going to start by adding a text editor. So I'm going to type in text field, sorry. And we're going to drag it. After that, we simply need a button. So I'm going to say button. Inside of here, I'll say action. And then we are going to give it a name or a title. And that will be to next view. Wonderful. The action, we will leave it empty for now. And I believe I just needed to add these two dots. And now we are perfect. Inside of our V stack, let's just add padding outside of it, sorry. And that will just make sure that things are just not glued to the wall. Now, before we continue, obviously it will make sense to first create our second folder or our, sorry, our second file. So let's right click on content view, click on new file, make sure you have iOS and Swift UI view selected, click on next. Let's give it a name and I'll just call it second view. Oops, sorry, second view. And we're going to click on create. And there we go. We have our second view ready. Let's actually go back and simply copy this exact view again and go to our second view and simply paste it. There we go. And if you click on resume, we can see that it's green as well. So obviously let's change this to red and let's change this to original view. Wonderful. Now that we created both our views, what we can do is we are going to be creating a file that shares all the information. So it will be like a third file that will take every single information and it will share it to any other view that's subscribed to it. To do that, we're going to type in class and we're going to give it a name. I will simply call the app information and it will be of type observable object. So not observed, observable object, just like this. Inside of here, we're going to be having two different items. We're going to say published var, and we're going to say app page. And this will simply be a zero. And then we're going to say app published var text sh shared is equal to, and we'll just leave it as empty text. So basically, actually, we can simply keep it as type something. Now app page, basically we're going to use this number to check if we are, if this is zero, then we're going to display this view. If it's on one, then we're going to display the second view. And at text shared is obviously the text being shared between both views. Before we can start using this class, we simply need to subscribe to it first. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go over here and we're going to type in at, we're going to type in environment object var and I'm going to say app info and it will be of type app information just like this. Obviously you'll get so many different errors completely ignore it until it gets fixed. We actually do not need the brackets and app info not indo. There we go. Now let's go ahead and start using the app information or this class to share the information. So for the text uh, for the placeholder we can actually leave this empty we will not need it. For our text, we are going to type in dollar sign. We're going to say app info dot text shared. And from now on, any changes to the text editor will actually not be saved on this class. For our action, what we need to do is we need to say app info dot app page, and we're going to change that to one. Beautiful. So now when you click on this button, that it will change from zero to one and live pretty much any changes to the editor will also change the text saved over here. Now, how do we actually navigate from this view to the other view? What we can do is we can put another if statement over here and we're going to say if app, oh, sorry, if app info 
the app page is equal to zero then what we want to do is we want to display this so we're going to display everything pretty much inside of the z stack else what we want to do is we want to display our second view i understand not the best way to navigate but i'm just trying to show you a real quick example over here now what we are going to do is we are going to copy this line and we're going to go to our second view we are going to paste it over here because we're going to be using it as well for the placeholder again we don't need it actually at the moment or ever we're going to put a dollar sign we're going to say app info dot text shared for the button what we need to do when the button is pressed is we, we need to change app page to back to zero and basically this any changes happens to both pages at the exact same time so let's go ahead and run this app and see if this will work okay so if you attempted to run the app you realize that you did get an error and that's because we forgot to add one last crucial part to this app so let's click on sharing that app this is the name of my app obviously it can be something else but just click on where it says app.swift at the end and over here we need to add a line of code first so we're going to type at state object var and i'm going to call it again app info let's just keep it uh, the same and it will be app information and this time we are going to add a bracket now right where it says content view we're going to type in dot and and sorry it's not two dots it's actually just equal and over here we're going to say dot environment object and we're going to be passing app info which we just created there we go so let's give it a second to see if we're going to get any errors and as you can see we're not actually getting any errors now we can run this app okay so as you can see our app here have finished loading let's go ahead and type something and i'm going to say this is the first view hello if we go to the next as you can see we do navigate correctly and the text does come with us as well let's change this we are going to say we are the red team if i click to original view as you can see we do go back and the text also comes back with us we can do this as many times as you want we can change anything and it will always be shared at the exact same time across any view that subscribes to our class that we just created over here thanks so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this episode you can use this with images videos text anything you want i hope you benefit from it please make sure you leave a like and you leave a subscribe for this channel so that you can watch it grow have a good day